Carrie Lake's book, um, un, 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 Uncharted, whatever it's called, Super Shart, uh, I Sharted. Um, anyways, she, uh, she, apparently her book is uh, selling very badly. Even when they have a couple of groups buying uh, stacks of them and passing them out. In the same way they did with Don Jr.'s book and a bunch of right wingers, like Heritage Foundation and all these other super PACs all buy large copies of the book and they hand it out. And then uh, the New York Times will put a dagger next to it if it says, yeah, these are bulk purchases. These aren't individuals buying the book. So it made the list because somebody's gaming the system. So they figured out a way to, you know, put a little asterisk next to it. And Don Jr. They had one of those next to his book because the Heritage Foundation and other groups were buying big chunks of it, including, I think, one of the Trump-related super PACs to make it look like anybody gave a shit. It, but in her case, nobody was even bothering. But there was cocaine found at the White House in a general area where people drop off their stuff before they go on a tour. It's a public area of the White House. And the White House was temporarily evacuated because there was powder found. And somebody had dropped this and nobody knew what it was. So everybody got out. It turned out to be cocaine. All right. First of all, uh, to be abundantly clear, I, I thought Hunter smoked crack, which comes in, a, it's it's chunky style, isn't it? Isn't that, I don't know my cocaine. I don't understand. I don't do drugs. So someone will have to explain this to me. But I, as I understand, crack is chunky style. Um, it's not like smooth like the other cocaine, the big fancy cocaine. And um, so, but they, uh, ha hardly an evacuation would be necessary if everybody went, hey, that's mine. Anyways, um, and Pence has said he, uh, he, he, says, you know, there was never any cocaine found during the Trump years, uh, largely because they never checked Don Jr.'s nose, of course. And then, um, but the idea being is that Hunter Biden hasn't been anywhere near the place. And this is, again, a public outside area where people come and go if they're going to have a tour. And Carrie Lake says, I'd investigate Hunter about cocaine at White House. So let's, let's think about that for one second. Now, I get it. It's just, it's a hack thing to say and blah, blah, blah. It's cocaine, so it must be Hunter. Um, but that said, imagine, if you will, that uh, a someone in charge, a vice president or a presidential candidate, in the case of Carrie Lake, um, deciding that anytime drugs are found, they'll just round up addicts and start charging them, assuming it came from known addicts. And, and never, I suppose, uh, checking to see where it came from or whose fingerprints were on the little baggie that it was in or wherever it came from, uh, you know, however it arrived, right? Why bother? All right, joining us now, former gubernatorial candidate for Arizona, Carrie Lake, who's also the author of a brand new book called Unafraid, Just Getting Started. Carrie, welcome. Yes, uh, it's Just Getting Started, plummeting to the bottom of all sales charts. I mean, good to see you. Nice to be here today. Let's. All right, don't lie to them right out of the gate. That's just rude. Get your reaction. Uh, always, thank you. Uh, well, let's get your reaction no, to this. You. Uh, you know, cocaine at the White House story. Uh, we saw Hunter Biden at the White House taking in fireworks last night. Uh, mm -hmm. But the report of what was discovered, found, as James Rosen was just uh, talking about, in the West Wing, in a baggie, fingerprints probably could be obtained. Probably. Do you think we'll ever find out whose it was? And uh, can you imagine if this was actually a Republican administration? Well, first of all, uh, it, I can't imagine it. I can imagine George W. Bush having his own stash um, by his own admission. Oh, man. I mean, well, you know what? I'm not an investigator. Really? I, gee, I, you know, judging by your bullshit in Arizona, where you're, uh, I'm not, yes, I'm not an investigator. I'm more of an accuser. I don't really look for the facts. I just immediately assume that if something doesn't go my way, it's clearly uh, sketchy as fuck, and I will just start throwing about accusations, you know, like I've done with uh, the current sitting governor. I don't have police experience, but I... Uh, but I have done a lot of election uh, investigations with the mess D'Souza. I have common sense. I'd start by... Mm, citation needed asking a few questions of hunter biden that's where i'd start if i were the police he's been around the why would you have to ask him if it's in a baggie and it's got fingerprints on it i, I don't think you'd have to ask anybody i mean you'd have to you might ask him where he got it 
White House quite a bit. There he is. You see him there uh, on the balcony watching the fireworks. We know his history. Yeah, that's in the uh, private residence part. That's where the family goes. This was not in that area. History. We know all about his uh, disturbing laptop showing uh, just a ton of drug use, among other. Well, uh, uh, technically, um, you see him with a glass pipe in his mouth. You see him smoking a cigarette in a bathtub. And you see him allegedly cutting up what looks like cocaine in an oddly edited piece of video, but whatever. Um, you, there is no way to test that that is actually drugs. So I will go so far as to say that when the video comes out of Don Jr. partying um, and you guys go, you can't even tell, that's that's not, that's baby laxative he's snorting, not cocaine. Um, I will side with you because I guess technically speaking, we can assume that it's cocaine because of how he acts after he gets a big blast of it. But also we can't tell from just video. We're going to need to test that shit. Depraved activities. So that's where I'd start if I were the police. And I'm sure they're already thinking that. The Are you? question is, can they? Are they able to? It's so corrupt in that White House that and the Department of Justice and the government's been, you know, protecting Joe Biden and his son and, and all the criminals around them. Well, not all of them, obviously. I mean, they. Uh, Trump was around them quite a bit. He's going through some things. He was, you know, he's been, they he used to live in that house. I don't know if you know that. They used to share the same address for a very short time. That I don't know if they'll ever truly solve this big problem that they have. But I think it's the owner of the haunted amusement park myself. What a, what a terrible, sad day for our, the history of our country. You <laughs> yes. Uh, a, a bag of cocaine was found dropped in a public area of the White House. Not sketchy at all. Not, uh, not, doesn't look like somebody's trying to distract from Trump's woes at all. Um, but it's certainly, uh, you know, it's certainly worse than a drunk Nixon, a man with access to the button, uh, talking, screaming about Jews to paintings on the walls. You think of all of the moments that have transpired over the history of our great nation at the White House. And yeah, I, I, don't make me think of Trump hugging Ivanka. Ugh. Then the, you see how this has set us back. How how this how how has this set us back? How? I mean, didn't Eisenhower have a heart attack there? The Bidens have been such a debacle, and have they? You know, just was it a few? Well, I mean, if you hate infrastructure, yeah, I guess you. Weeks ago, they had uh, the big transgender um, party at the White House, and one of the trans. Well, it was a pride party, but transgender yeah. folks was showing off their, uh, you know, took their shirt off and showed off their, their fake. They're, uh, they're called breasts, mama. They're dirty pillows. Breasts. It's unbelievable. Well, that person was obviously stricken from the grounds and as they were in, they were an advocate and they were a, obviously an activist and they were, did not, they, they've been kicked out of the way. They can't come back. So I don't know. Again, we're, we're just going to go with, uh. Right. What, what they should have let them stay. All right. What is we'll going that. on in this White House, and it is an insult to every American out there. Mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't feel insulted. Um, just for the record. Let's talk a little bit about what uh, Congress is doing. The GOP obviously investigating the business dealings. The IRS whistleblowers have come forward to allege DOJ interference in their five-year-long investigation. And now today, I'd like mm -hmm. to get your reaction because we've learned that former Republican Representative Denver Riggleman of Virginia. Not Denver Riggleman. According to CBS, has been working with Hunter's legal team, assisting them with data analysis. He was also advisor to the January 6th committee. We know Hunter has a tax plea deal set to be approved July 26th, but um, it signals here with Riggleman meeting with uh, lawyers from Hunter's team Monday in D.C., also at the White House last night, that they could be concerned about the investigations ahead. So they're bringing in a Republican because they're concerned about, or are they just, all right, maybe so, all right. Well, I think they should be. I'm, I'm, you're Why? Why would they be concerned? I thought it was totally corrupt and the Bidens have a lock on the DOJ and the FBI. It's his own personal police force. Why? Why would they be concerned? You're talking about this is almost a, a, moving into that category about um, about seizing fentanyl at the border. Look at all this sent this fentanyl seized at the border. This is terrible that they're seizing all this stuff. You, you know, they're supposed to do that, right? Yeah, but they didn't used to seize this much. Well, are you glad that they're seizing more? 
Yes. Okay. The Bidens, they should be concerned about the investigations ahead. I mean, we again, I, I don't know why. If they control big tech and the whole government and the FBI and the DOJ and the CIA and, and Arby's, I don't know how they, uh, what does Hunter have to worry about? Some of our, Cong our Republican congressmen and women have been doing a great job digging into what has been going on, what's been transpiring with the Biden family. I call it the Biden crime family. Yeah, it's very, very original. We've heard that uh, before. Because it truly is a crime family. Oh, I see. That's right. Well, at least, maybe you should call them uh, the Biden truly crime family. The, the true crime family. Perhaps the only, only Bidens in the building something. Payouts right. that they've been given by our enemies be by our enemies those would be who between the ccp the communist regime in china through yes again uh if i may uh point of order mr chairman uh let's see where was this <laughs> looking for something to show you guys something it's a whole lot of fun oh i know where it is I put it in my notion because I was thinking ahead. As long as it opens up, we'll be fine. Um, in terms of uh, China's um, kind of current state in the world, let's go to where's my politics. There we go. And then we go to China. There we go. And then, um, mm -hmm. let's see. Did I put it in there or... Maybe it's down in the bottom. Yeah. Um, where are we? Hang out for a moment. It's going to be a good time. No, I'll just do it back in there. Okay. All right. One second. I, I posted a picture, an image earlier, but I wanted to show the entire article if I could. Um, let's go straight to China. Um, uh, well, I see. Let's see. Um, here's a couple things. This is right out of the gate. Uh, U.S. considers limits on cloud computing for China. This is um, from July 5th. This is recent. Um, also, uh, let's look at the general idea. Um why Hong Kong wants to be a hub for crypto sector because it's a China's only option is to be a criminal enterprise. Is that what we're doing? Um, but right here, uh, bu 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 there you go. Uh, um, China's slumping economy needs more than stimulus. Stimulus alone won't solve China's problems. I thought, I, what problems do they have? They don't they own the president of the United States? Can he? Isn't he helping them with this with every stroke of the pen? You dirty, dirty beast. Um, the, let's see, uh, let's, uh, although China State Council was warned the situation demands forceful measures, the government has thus far taken only limited steps to boost the economy, notably cutting interest rates last month. Proposals to support the real estate and real estate market and encourage consumption of cars and home appliances are also under discussion, uh, where they're having people buy cars they don't need. Um, <laughs> this is, a um, this is a, a one of my favorite arguments. U.S. resilience is a problem she wishes he had. Beijing's measures to buttress growth are underwhelming. Traders know it, and so does the People's Bank of China. U.S. resilience. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? And I, it, look, I get it. Uh, there's a bunch of maggots out there that just wish ill on the United States. Um, but, you know, China paid the Bidens handsomely for them to, for the Bidens to, uh, I guess, uh, slap Xi Jinping in the face with his dick. Burisma and all kinds of... Excuse me, that is not how it's pronounced. The Burmese executives. So this uh, Burmese, Burmese, they say, pronounce it Burmese. Mm-hmm. Um, so hold on one second. Let's go down to here. I don't know why this... Uh, let's just call hello bullshit on this whole thing. All right, there we go. Of, of companies and government officials in Ukraine. And now all of a sudden we're, in, you know, we're pushing for a war and sending hundreds of billions of dollars. We're, are we pushing for a war? Aren't we responding to a war? 
I'm I'm sorry. I I what I I have not seen the video of Biden poking uh Putin and daring him to attack. Dollars over. This stinks to high heaven. There's a ton of might be your upper lip. I can't really tell because the filter covers a lot. Evidence out there, and now we see the Republicans in Congress starting to dig around. I mm -hmm. Yes, they, they are they, two and a half years of digging around, and what have they found? Bupkis. I think the Bidens should be scared to death. Mm, I don't think so. Again, uh, a what are they? What did? What's the quo and the quid pro quo? Figure that out for me and let us know. Ooh, I read it rhymed. I didn't even realize. That's lovely. And then, of course, um, if they control everything, then why would they be afraid? Because don't they control everything? Well, they yeah, they are. Um, about what's happening. The James Comer, uh, other committees, obviously looking to uh, for financial records and more. Yeah, they. I mean, why? Again, you have the entire contents of the the fake hard drive. That's not enough. Really, just all you got are like pictures of Hunter Biden smoking in the bathtub covering his nipples at what point do i am i supposed to give a shit or of the alleged uh influence peddling there so uh yes uh the alleged part is and by the way that upset her if you'll notice she at alleged what the fuck is wrong with you um i the problem with the alleged influence peddling is the they are alleged to get the money even still that's just the the alleged taking of money the uh, the idea that they peddled some influence is the questionable part because even the the 1023 that they're talking about, the FD 1023, which was filed by Rudy Giuliani, by the way, um, uh, prove me wrong. And uh, it happened about stuff that happened in 2017. So when Biden was not going to run for office again, what influence is he peddling? He's got... Delaware access. They will continue on with a Republican again, as we just said, mentioned it. Uh, we'll be working with Hunter Biden's legal team. Let's talk about uh, Arizona for a moment because the Democratic Attorney General there, Chris Mays, is making some head headlines. Carrie, she says she won't enforce the state's abortion laws. Uh, she will not prosecute doctors for violating a 15 week abortion ban and uh, saying resources shouldn't be spent on trying to put doctors in jail. She's also um, doing this in tandem with, you know, mm. Governor Katie Hobbs the last week. Yeah, the real governor, actually, I don't know if you know, that's that she's actually the governor. Um, as opposed to alleged governor or, it, you know. Week who stripped county prosecutors of their ability to uh, bring bring forward charges in an executive order. Hobbs just did that. So what do you think? Is that what people in your state want? Mm hmm. In general. Yeah. Statistically, yes. Well, they want an AG who's going to uphold the law. They want a governor who's going to uphold the law and. Well, in a period where it's uh, going to be declared unconstitutional and its limits because it's unscientific. Um, and also the fact is, this is not going to come up. A lot of this is window dressing. Most women don't get uh, second and third trimester abortions, and none of them are getting them for any other reason than to save their own life. That's not what we're getting right now. Right. And if they're willing to, uh, to set aside one law, that means they're going to set aside others. It's yeah, absolutely. Crack everywhere. It's going to, I mean, it's just, the border is wide open. Katie Hobbs isn't, I mean, she's they, like murder is now legal, apparently. Uh, as, as long as you're um, under the age of 15 months. Doesn't surprise me. You know, we've seen these Soros DAs across the country. We have, we've seen them. I've seen them. They run, well, I mean, it's hard to see them because they kind of, there's this mist around them who look the other way when hardened criminals commit violent crimes and they just say, well, mm. we're not going to prosecute. We're going to let them out. This is how the Democrat. Yeah, we're not talking about that. We're talking about doctors who are providing medically, medically necessary procedures for women in some cases where their life is on the line. So. Party is operating right now. It's a lawless party. Well, I mean, that's that's the kind of party we like. Ain't no party like a lawless party because a lawless party don't quit, right? They pick and choose what laws they want. They mm hmm That's true. I, it's obviously, uh, like, the law that you have to win an election to call yourself the governor. Oh. Pick and choose who they're going to target and go after. Well, obviously, I mean, you don't have unlimited resources. So. And this is just what we've been seeing from the White House on down. Look at how the DOJ is operating right now. Right. Again, why is uh, Hunter Biden supposed to be nervous if you can't, if they have control of the what? Going after political opponents. 
but yet not going after true criminals and crimes that are right there in their face. It um, obviously cocaine. Ignoring whistleblowers who happen to have evidence on the uh, Democrats, but then again. Mm, no, they don't actually. They, they don't have evidence. And, and the, specifically, the guy from the IRS who was the whistleblower, uh, the alleged whistleblower, uh, if he had gotten his way, Hunter Biden would have not even had to plead guilty to the charges that were in front of him because he would have gotten everything thrown out because they would have used the uh, laptop from Rudy Giuliani, uh, the hard drive named laptop, as a predicate for getting their evidence and it would be thrown out in court. Just saying. And turning and twisting things and going after people like... Like a twisty, turny thing. Donald Trump. Well, there are no people like Donald Trump. Thank God. It's, he's, he's one of a kind. You know, uh, well, I don't know, like, like ogres or, uh, well, this is what we get with the modern day Democrat right now. Just about out of time, but I do want to ask you about, um, two things here. You have a new book, Unafraid, Just Getting Started. And I want to know, <laughs> does that mean you will be running for Senate? Well, initially I was going to just title it Unafraid, and then people started asking me, and a, a lot of people on the left and in the Uniparty started worrying that I would not walk away from politics. And so uh, it, just to give them a little bit of a chill up their spine, I decided to do a subtitle called Just Getting Started. So I see. So that's so it says Just Getting Started down there. Like so, so when she said it was called Unafraid, Just Getting Started, you decided that, that your book Unafraid should have a subtitle called just getting started. Okay. I, I was just, I was unclear on where those words came from and where they were positioned on the cover of the book. So mm -hmm. yes, I'm just getting started. Ah, so you're saying you're just getting started at losing. I am seriously contemplating uh, a run, possibly for Senate. I um, may have to do it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we don't know. Hell, I, I'm just getting started. I haven't even looked. Honestly, I've only been awake for about 10 minutes. We have to have people in these offices that are truly representing the good people of Arizona. Oh, so you're not running. See, I, I, was, I thought like you guys, I thought she was actually, that was my bad. Right yeah. now, Arizona is not getting good representation in Senate right now with. Yeah, it kind of is. I mean, even I'm not a huge fan of Kristen Cinema, but like Arizona's getting a shit ton of federal dollars right now. I don't know if you noticed, but like whatever, three out of the five new chip plants are being built in Arizona. They're already getting billions of dollars. Holy hell. Uh, people like Kirsten Cinema there and Mark. People like her. They, again, there's nobody like her either. She's, she, she's, she, she's unique. Kelly. All right, Carrie Lake, seriously considering that. So thank you so much. Seriously, seriously, seriously. She's serious. Guys, super serious. Much appreciate your time. Good to see you. Thank you. I learned a lot. I've, I grew as a person. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I, I have to admit, I did not get a chill up my spine when she said she was running. And, and it might just be that, you know, I uh, right now I sort of make my living mocking idiots like her. So it kind of gives me a little, you know, I don't know if it's a chill, you know, gives me like a like a comedy boner. Is that all right? 